straight to the assign line next. Camera two, can I have camera two next, please? Stand by on OS7. Coming to assign two. Can I have the OS for the studio, please? OK, everything's sounding good. Mixing to camera three. And presenters, presenters ready, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Cut, go bam, cue. Hello, my name is Micah and this is Andrew. We are students at Evening Grace Academy, an art school which we, we opened in 2008 and moved into our award-winning school in 2010. At Evelyn Grace Academy, we know that reading is important and have lots of opportunities to read for fun and to study. We know that reading improves our vocabulary, listening and writing skills, improves our knowledge and imagination. It also develops our interests and improves our understanding of the world around us. <coughs> Oh, we want to share with you lots of exciting things we are doing in, to create a reading community at our school. Now over to Scott in the library. Hi, my name is Scott and I am here in the fantastic EJ library. We moved into our permanent building designed by Zaha Hadid in 2010. Before then, we didn't have a proper library space, but now we have this fantastic one. As you can see, we have a great selection of fiction and non-fiction books, as well as magazines and information leaflets. <clears throat> Ms Dutton is our librarian and runs the library with help from lots of student librarians. The library is not just for reading, and many people pop in the library just to talk to Ms Dutton about anything from Japanese food to getting a job. The library is a welcoming place and Ms Dutton encourages us to learn about a wide range of things, including things which aren't to do with our schoolwork. The library encourages us to be passionate and become lifelong learners. <clears throat> the library has spaces for classes as well as soft seating and computers. We also have a space in the back which is used for breakfast club where students get free breakfast and kids company drop-in sessions. When we were introduced to our brand new library in 2010, it wasn't immediately popular. The library has now transformed into an extremely busy place. Before, people who did read were referred to as geeky, a nerd, or neaky, and were certainly not thought as as cool. But that has all changed, and reading or even being in the library in your free time is now considered cool. At each GA, we have something called Accelerated Reader. This keeps track of how many books students are reading as well as how many words. Once you have finished, you can take an accelerated reader quiz on one of these Neo boards. There are prizes for scoring over 70% on a test, as well as larger competitions and rewards, including new passes to students over a million words, which allows them to jump the lunch queue every day for a term. Students even create their own competitions by trying to read more words than their friends. The library is not just used during free time, but hosts a range of lessons including English classes, research lessons, nurture groups and even philosophy. We at, HIP, we at EGA believe that all schools should have a library and encourage, encourage students to read. Now over to Aaron. Hello, my name is Aaron and I'm a Year 10 student at Evelyn Grace Academy. I'm going to speak to you about how one author has transformed reading for our school's older students. This author is John Green. Now, John Green has penned books including Looking for Alaska, Paper Towns, Will Grayson, Will Grayson and the award-winning The Fault in Our Stars. In our library we have multiple copies of his books, including 10 copies of The Fault in Our Stars. That's a lot of books. Now they are extremely popular and you often see students walking around with his books. The books have even got students reading who previously hardly ever read. This is because the books deal with a lot of issues including homosexuality, illness, young love and other issues but also because they are extremely witty and you can easily relate to and fall in love with the characters. John Green's books have transformed lots of older students' attitudes towards reading and have made the library busier than ever. If you want to know more about John Green's books, look on his website or on goodreads.com. 
even has a YouTube video of him reading the first chapter of The Fault in Our Stars. However, I must warn you that it may make you cry. Thank you. Now over to Moya Sore and Miss Dutton in the library. Hello. My name is Moya Sore and I am a BBC school reporter at Evelyn Grace Academy. This is our librarian, Miss Dutton. She has worked here since we moved into our new, our new building in 2010. Miss Dutton, how do you encourage students to read? I try and make the library a really appealing place by having lots of new books, so I try to keep up to date with what books are cool amongst teenagers and get them in. Try to put lots of nice displays around the library, try to put displays around the school encouraging people to come in here. I make events and competitions, and most importantly I speak to students about what they want the library to do for them, what sort of books they want at the library, if they want any after school clubs, and I'm very lucky because I work in a school where it's not just me doing it, it's a huge amount of teachers encouraging our students to read. What books do you like to read? At the moment I'm studying, so I read a lot of textbooks and journals for my course. When I do get time, I like to try and read teen fiction so I can be good at my job. So I read a lot of Mallory Blackman, um, John Green. I recently read the first Percy Jackson book and I want to read the whole series. Same with the Skullduggery Pleasant books. Um, sometimes I read classics, so last time I read Dracula and I read Frankenstein for probably the third or fourth time. I want to reread the books that I studied at GCSE, so when I did my GCSEs, I studied um, Lord of the Flies and Of Mice and Men, so I want to reread those at some point, but it is finding time. I've also recently just reread the first two Harry Potter books because I'm a big Harry Potter geek. Who's your favourite author? Um, I don't really have a favourite author. I think a few years ago, if you asked me, when I wasn't working in a secondary school, I would have said John Wyndham, who writes a lot of kind of sci fi books. Including Dare the Treffords, which has lots of it set in London, so I really enjoyed that. Um, and I was working in a primary school then, so I liked reading the younger children's books, but I didn't really love them the same way I love teen fiction. I would say at the moment my favourite author is John Green, but it changes from almost every book I read. Every book I read, I think it's my new favourite book or it's my new favourite author. So ask me again every week. And um, what do you like the most about your job? I like working in an environment which is always changing, so it's not just going into office and doing the same thing every day. Um, there's a lot of obstacles at work, maybe a lot of drama with students, but I really enjoy that. Um, I really enjoy how passionate and enthusiastic students are about different things. I love being able to help them become enthusiastic about stuff. Like I have a lot of kids who are interested in Japanese culture, so I tell them about little Japanese things and they get more excited and they come and tell me more things. I like working with the staff as well, I think the staff are fantastic here. Um, I just, I really do love my job and it is mainly because of our lovely students. Um, thank you Ms. Dutton. Now over to Chloe in the studio. Hello, I'm Chloe, reporting for BBC News Weather. We've got some very strange weather in the UK today. Over in the west, in Narnia, we have a snow, snowstorm sweeping in probably controlled by the white witch, so make sure to wrap up and stay warm. Another witch seems to be controlling the weather just below, as we are expecting a tornado to sweep over the little village of Kansas. In the southwest, we have extreme desert weather, so watch out as lots of scorpions, rattlesnakes and yellow spotted lizards might be out. Over in over in Whitby Bay, we are still having an eerie mist. There have also been sights of a pale man with sharp fangs, though there is no solid evidence that the two are connected. Lastly, in East Anglia, we have large fireballs fly, flying through the sky, so use your catness inspired skills to avoid them and try to head for water. The rest of the UK will be experiencing occasional showers and patches of fog. Now over to Anisha and Tayosi in the library. Goodbye! My name is Anisha and this is Mrs Rogers, an English teacher. Um, what do you enjoy most about reading? Oh, that's a really difficult question. It's quite a simple question but it's not easy to answer because there are so many things I enjoy about reading. Um, 
And there are so many different sorts of reading, aren't there? So I like reading fiction stories because that is a complete um, escape for me. You know, I can go into a different world, I can find out about places and people and times in the past that I would never ever know about. And what I like about reading fiction is when I'm reading it, I'm completely in another world. And that's what I'm thinking about what I'm reading. And so in that way, it's really, really relaxing. And I love that. You know, I really like something that's a complete escape and a relaxation. Um, other sorts of reading. I read a lot of things on the internet. Goodness knows what we did before Google because I'm always looking up Oh, where to buy a new pair of trousers or what to feed my dog or what the medicine I've been given by the doctor is for. So that sort of reading I think is really, really important. Um, so reading for information is important to me and reading for pleasure. So those are just a few things that I enjoy about reading and there are lots more. <laughs> Why do you think reading is important? Oh gosh, because Reading helps you find out about the world, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. it, it, it? You know, what would we be if we couldn't read about things? I wouldn't know half of the things that I know if I couldn't read properly. You know, it's just, it's, it's how you educate yourself, isn't it? It's how you broaden your horizons, how you find out about all sorts of things, which university you might want to go to, where you want to go for your holidays this year. So, What's or, your favourite... Um, What's your favourite um, book as a teenager? Mm, that's a hard one too. Um, one I remember liking a lot as a teenager was I Capture the Castle. Do you know that one? It was made into a film recently. Well, not that recently, a few years ago, by Dodie Smith. And it's about a very, very poor family whose father is a writer, actually, but a really unsuccessful writer. And they move out of London because they have no money and they go and live in a castle in the middle of nowhere. And the girls are two teenage girls and they're both looking for boyfriends. And it's about how they <clears throat> organise themselves and make clothes and they manage to um, fight, both find themselves boyfriends and one of them a husband. But it's, there's a twist at the end. So I liked that a lot. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Nice to speak to you. Hello again, it's me, Anisha, and I'm going to be interviewing Miss Brennan. What do you enjoy? What do you enjoy most most about reading? I think it takes you to another world, which you can escape your entire life in. What? Why do you think reading is important? I think it's one of the most most important things that you can do. Actually, I think it helps to develop your vocabulary. It helps to develop your empathy with other people by taking the part of the lead protagonist in the book and it's just pure escapism. What was your favourite book as a teenager? That's so difficult to choose, there were so many books that I used to love. Um, I loved To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, I loved The Hobbit, I loved Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, a whole range of them. Thank you, over to Tayosi. Hello, my name is Percy, I'm a student from Year 8. At AGA, I'm going to interview two other math teachers about reading. First, Mr. Owa. Hello, Mr. Owa. How are you doing, Why do you think reading is important? Um, reading is important because um, it's a good way to spend time. I think it enlarges your vocabulary and um, it expands your intellect. So you get to learn lots of different things from um, different genres of reading. Um, it's a way of capturing time. Um, so everything that everyone has ever known, ever, in the history of all knowledge um, is open to you, so you can delve in at your leisure, when, anytime you feel. So. How do you encourage students to read? Um, I encourage students to read by reading. So, I love to read, I'm an avid reader. I read all the time, so I like to read anywhere I'm going. I can read walking, so I, I walk down the corridors reading, um, I read in my classroom, um, so, and I like to talk about books that I that I read. So, uh, particularly um, some of the book, uh, some of the fictions in here. Uh, the one I'm reading at the moment is Percy Jackson. So I talk about that one whenever I can. What's your favorite book? Um, I have several uh, favorite books. Um, I think it's actually impossible to pick a favorite book um, if you love reading. 
um, I think there's um, my absolute, I mean, the one, if I had to pick one, I think it would probably be the Bible. Um, but um, I love so many different types of books. Thank you, Mr. Owen. You're welcome. Now I'm going, to, I'm going to interview Mr. Martin there. Why do you think reading is important? Uh, I think reading is important, maybe for two reasons. The first one is it's just enjoyable. You can actually just open a book and relax, sit down and have a read. The second one is that it opens up a whole world of information and different things that you can learn about just through sitting down in one place. You don't have to go anywhere. You can just open the book <laughs> and go where you like. See, how do you encourage students to read? A lot of the time, people say that as a maths teacher, that reading is not all that relevant to the subject. But at EGA, we've got a fantastic section of maths books, such as Counting on Leroy, and I quite often send students down to find them. Okay. What's your favourite book? My favourite book? It's really hard to choose, like Mr Owa said and maybe I couldn't actually just choose one. But when I was at school, I really used to love reading uh, Roald Dahl, especially Danny the Champion of the World. I think it's a really fantastic story about a young man. But my favorite book at the moment, it's hard to say. Um, I recently read a book called Down and Out in Paris and London by George Orwell, which is about the man himself, the author, going to live in Paris and working at some very hard jobs and how difficult life can be there. They're coming back to London and living with some homeless people and seeing how life is there, which you can learn about just by sitting and reading it rather than having to go and live homeless yourself. Thank you, Mr. Martin. No now back to Aaron in the studio. Hello, I'm Aaron, and on the 7th of March 2013 this year, it was World Book Day. Now at EGA, we had a whole school event to celebrate this. All staff across the academy, including teacher and non-teacher and staff, all stickers with the names of their favourite books on. For example, Miss Jenkins would have the help, and our ICT teacher, called Miss George, would have Little Women. Great book. Students had to fill in the form with the names of five staff members, their favourite book, and a fact about the book. This was great, as it got everyone talking about books, and made students realise that it is not just the librarian and English teachers who read. It also shows staff how much we read. Plus, there was a prize in it too. In the summer term, we are going to be having a literacy festival and plan to have lots of events and competitions then too to get everyone to start reading. Thank you. Hi, my name is Scott and I was one of the students involved in Reading Partners, a course in which your nines help your eights improve their reading skills. We mess up twice a week, had breakfast and read together. Hi, my name is Timmy and I took part in the Year 8 Reading Partners. I'm going to ask Timmy a few questions about his experiences. What did you enjoy most about Reading Partners? Well, the thing I liked about Reading Partners is getting to know more people and more education. Do you think it helped improve your reading and writing? Yes, because sometimes when I read books and write, I normally forget my four stops. Are you reading more now that you have taken part in Reading Partners? Yes. Well, some days I come to the library to read fun books and take quizzes. Thank you very much, Timmy. Thank you for watching our BBC News report at Evening Grace Academy on reading. Thank you.